Uh, many corporate boardrooms, as you know, tend to be full of white men. Well, now the NASDAQ Stock Exchange raising the stakes to boost diversity. It wants to require listed companies to hire at least one woman and one person who identifies as an underrepresented minority or LGBTQ. Companies that don't would have to explain why not. If the SEC approves the plan, companies would have two years to meet that requirement. Our Paula Tutman shows us how this kind of thinking is already gaining momentum. The importance of women serving on boards is not new, particularly to the women of the National Association of Women Business Owners, or NABO. For years, the Greater Detroit Chapter has held workshops and symposiums branded Women on Boards to promote and prepare women for these important jobs in our economy. Tanya Hill is a Detroit-based national board member of NABO. Women influence the households, and when you think about um, the buying power of you know, households, whether it's, you know, run by a, a woman or a family, the female typically holds the purse strings. Her argument is that companies become stronger when they have leadership steering from their customers. And so why would we not have a presence when we are, you know, quite frankly, uh, responsible to a great extent for their profitability? And so today's announcement by NASDAQ that top tier companies will be mandated to make the boardrooms look more like the nation's conference rooms where women and minorities are putting in the hard work but often bump into mid-management ceilings is certainly being applauded. At Flagstar Bank, this is already well-worn territory when the CEO, Sandro Danilo, announced this summer that he wanted his leadership to look different and be different. I think as, as we looked at this year and what happened with the murder of George Floyd and the social uh, injustice issues that had really become much more in the spotlight, it was clear to me that waiting for the right time to do it because somebody retired or something just wasn't the right way to look at this and we needed to accelerate. Yet he knows there will be pushback. Yeah, so it will look like affirmative action for board members. And so I think it's a message to private industry to get get down to it, man, you know, and and do the right thing. Yeah, and, and so both of these folks tell me that, or at least they uh, kind of give me the sense that uh, this is a mandate that would be a much needed doorstop to keep those doors from slamming shut on the faces of qualified people, really qualified people who've seen nothing but the front of that door for many, many years, Devin. Fascinating to watch how uh, corporate America responds uh, to this kind of an idea. All right, Paula, fascinating. Still ahead.